Assalamu alaikum guys, it's me Crypto. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to make Blender animation videos or how to make render pictures by using Blender 3.1 which is the latest version of Blender. I'm going to make like a series out of this. Try my best to explain every bit of details or options in, in the Blender. Basically let's get started. So requirements I will put everything in the description. You need a latest Blender version, which I'm using 3.1, which is the latest Blender version, and you need Dragon FF. So let's get started, shall we? Head over to File, Import, and Dragon FF. This is how you're going to import skins from GTA San Andreas. Then press it on here. Make sure to look at your skin, which skin you want to use. Alright, after you've done located the skin, make sure you tick read material split, connect bones, and you need your TXD to get exported. Sadly, Dragon FF cannot export TXDs automatically, so you will have to manually export it by yourself. Okay, after you've done that, make sure you just check it out, go to I axis, rotate it, click and hold shift. Make sure you click on the bones, there's a small bones, hold shift and click, you have to multiple selected, press R, 90, 90 degrees and enter. But the problem is, it doesn't have any textures. How do you fix that? Head over to this small arrow, down arrow, which is shading, and then you will see a lot of stuff, which is lighting, color, background, options. We aren't going to touch anything about that except color. So head over to texture, click on it, and then BAM! It works perfectly nice! However, the skin is so shiny, how are you going to fix that? Again, go to that shading tab, and you can click matte cap for example, or flat. So I'ma switch over to flat. So, you got your skin imported. Congratulations! Right now, let's move to the second step. Second step is, how do you make a render picture out of this? How do you add cameras? How do you pose a character? Uh, it's very simple. It is very simple and easy. All you have to do is select the bone, go to this green rig skeleton button here, view both display and tick in front, which will displace all the skeletons in front. It will be easier to pose them up. Some of you will ask, how do you go to the pose mode, how do you rotate the bones, you can't just do this and just select it, no. So, hold control or tab to enter pose mode, or you can actually click on here and then pose mode. Now you are in the pose mode, which is you rotate bones, you can move bones, the arms, legs, spine, anything. How do you move it, how do you do this? You can actually click on this, this is this is what I usually do go to transform and there you go you have it you have it right here and you can set it to local for example the transform orientations could be like that so after you're done with this you can try checking it out test if this works every bones like that and it works perfectly fine so we are going to make a render picture which is which requires a camera for the scene, and lightnings, and, and everything. All right. So how do we add a camera? Hold Shift and A. Then hover to camera, and there you go. You have cameras set it up. So make sure to resize this tab right here. Go to click here, click here, 3D viewport, and press numpad zero which goes to camera perspective. Click on here, same thing, go to flat and texture because it will reset everything. And if you want to avoid this stuff right here, just press here and press here. There you go. Now same thing, you have to move the camera by pressing G or just go to transform, do this and then you're good. You can resize this a bit, make it huge as well so you can see properly. Right now we have camera set it up which is good what are you going to do is you have to switch over to Eve 
I prefer Eve because it's faster and easier to use. So let's go over Eve. Render, increase render samples. More, if you have more samples, that means the better the render picture is. So let's just stay like 64, which is a, a good amount for me. Ambia occlusion. So how do you check all of this? You have to click on this viewport shading, shading, which is rendered. So what what you're going to do is add lightnings to it. Go to the world properties. You can actually increase the color for this. Uh, you can see it's actually more visible right now. It's actually more visible. If you want to add HDRI, go to color. Click on the yellow dots. Environment texture open then you have to locate your blender which is documents blender 2.9 which is my old blender version but it doesn't matter 2.9 data files go to data files studio lights world and there is all of your HDRI or XC XRI I would go for sunset because it's beautiful or sunrise which is more beautiful so let's go over Sunrise EXR. So how do we fix the edges? The edge looks the edges look sharp. So how are you going to fix that? Going to edit mode. Click on the mesh, your skin, press tab and press A. And as you can see you have these blue lines. What you're going to do is go to mesh, shading, smooth vertices, voila. It works perfectly fine. Now it's now it's very smooth and it looks beautiful. So we are going to enable take ambient occlusion for a better quality and nice realism. A good realism for the character factor. Which as you can see it already makes a few changes. Bloom screen space reflections, motion blur. It's for the animations but we are currently making I read the picture so let's not take that shadows you don't really have to touch shadows here film simplify don't touch simplify as well if you have a terrible PC and you are lagging every time just take this but make sure you untick it before you render let's go to the scene properties is this a scene output properties yeah this is how you this this is how you can change resolutions percentage frame rates which is useful for anima animations and the output for for example temp png format all that stuff so let's just do this let's pose up and this is how it's going to be There you go, I just pose the character. You can of course, of course, you can actually add more skins, but I'm not going to do that, which I'm going to be making this simple. Let's change the resolution to 1080, only 1080 for a, you know, for a profile picture. For the camera settings, this is actually a pretty useful stuff. This is how you can change the focal length to orthographic, to make it look nicer, so like that but HDRI will be bugged as well so best to go to perspective and increase the focal length here however you will have to always do this move it move the camera as well and therefore field is actually makes the render picture more nice and clean so take therefore field focus on object you can actually just select the object I have it on named or you can actually focus distance just decrease it and wait till it's more clean and sharp there you go this is another way a good way so I would go for if it's on one single character just go over for focus on an object if there's multiple characters go on focus distance so let's pick this this is the aperture you can actually decrease f-stop blades I don't, I don't really know what blades does and rotation and ratio but just leave it like that after you're done with this 
the scene needs to be needs to have a tiny changes as well that is creating more lights which is sun point and all of that stuff so I just added a sun here we are, we are going to move it and just rotate it like that as you can see the shadows look pretty nice as well make the color look like this increase the strength now it's way better you can actually turn it to orange orange which makes it very beautiful as well shadows uh, it's best if I if you use contact shadows shift and D to duplicate you can actually make it more more lighter switch over to points and then for point you need to move the lining like this so it will take the effect on that for example let's switch it over to blue for example like this the radius should be like I mean it doesn't really matter just go on on the lowest one zero now let's add like a fog for example so go to volume click on volume and then volume scatter so let's decrease the density make sure it's like 0 0.010 like that and it's trophy you can actually make the anastrophe look like this 0 0.05 let's try this 0 0.03 you can actually see the background as well or you can just create like a sound effect and this is good you can mess with these settings if you want to so yeah after we've done this let's go to render properties scroll all the way down until you see color management already untick this I actually got it ticked and there you can actually select filmic standard always go for filmic look and I suggest going for medium high contrast which makes it more beautiful in that way this on the other hand yes yes I'll put where you want it to be saved I always go for F12 and then save the image I will show you now when it's done just press F12 and you could I'll be right back as you can see the render picture looks actually insane looks beautiful you can actually see the background the depth of field does its job so after you're done with this over to image save and this is where you can save your stuff save as image and just wait this is the end result and it looks pretty nice so I guess I'll be ending the, this video right now and on part 2 I will teach you how to actually make animations from now on stay tuned for part 2 if you have any problems just comment down below make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done that and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out and take care. Assalamu alaikum.